We're learning more about a deadly act of domestic violence that caused a Navy sailor to lose her life. Chesapeake police say 20-year-old Anise Gonzalez was shot and killed by her husband, 22-year-old Colin Smith Aiken. Smith Aiken also shot and injured a bystander before turning the gun on himself. Angela Vargas spoke with one of Gonzalez's family members. We crumbled to our knees and our family is broken. Margaret Smith is remembering her niece, 20 year old Anis Gonzalez. And for my nini there, I just want her to know that I'm always here for her right here. I'm always here. And I love her. We all love her and we miss her terribly. Smith says she helped raise Gonzalez. Gonzalez also had seven siblings. She had a big bright star um, that she led life by. Smith tells us Gonzalez is from California and enlisted in the Navy after she graduated high school in 2019. She served our great country with pride and she absolutely loved the sea. Police say Gonzalez was shot and killed Saturday night by her husband, 22-year-old Colin Smith Aiken, on George Washington Highway in Chesapeake. He then turned the gun on himself. There's just nothing good. It wasn't just one person, two people that were impacted. There's a lot of people that are hurt. Smith says she hopes the Hampton Roads community understands that domestic violence is the problem. She hopes others in her niece's situation know that help is out there. But if you see signs that are violent, you need to report them and report them immediately. Don't question it. Don't think you can solve it. But domestic violence is real. And um, I think that that is the forefront of the conversation. Smith, who is also from California, is in Northern Virginia this week on a business trip and was supposed to meet her niece this weekend. I want her face to be seen. I want everybody to know the wonderful light on earth that was extinguished. I know she's shining bright upstairs and I know that she will take care of us from there. Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now. Smith plans on coming to Hampton Roads this week to visit the area where that shooting happened. Samaritan House Executive Director Robin Gothier tells us that the center has seen an increase in calls to their crisis hotline, along with more people getting hurt and killed in domestic violence. She says she believes the rise in domestic violence cases stems from the pandemic. The Samaritan House works closely with victim advocates at all military installations in Hampton Roads. The organization saw more than 300 victims of domestic violence in 2020, 100 more than in 2019.